Peterborough chairman hits out fan who claims he's worst ever for valuations. Peterborough United chairman Dara McAnthony put one football fan in their place after he was accused of overinflating players' prices on social media. The Irish entrepreneur, 46, has overseen a meteoric rise at the Cambridgeshire-based club since taking the reins from Barry Fry in 2006. Missing out on championship survival by four points, the posh have established themselves as a yo-yo club between the second and third tiers with a keen eye for a top-class striker. In their last four League One campaigns, it has been a Peterborough forward who has ended the campaign as the division's top scorer, but Pasha's goalscoring habits go back as far as McAnthony's early days in charge. Read more, ex-Premier League star saved streaker in Superman thong from arrest with quick-thinking Dwight Gale, Britta Sambalanka, George Boyd, Lee Tomlin and Ivan Tony all turned out for United under McAnthony's tenure and have since gone on to prove themselves as regular goalscorers in the second tier, with Gale and Tony even excelling in the Premier League. The next big name to break through at London Road is Harrison Burrows. The 20-year-old registered three goals and seven assists for relegated Posh last season and has been earmarked by several championship clubs as a top target this summer. Have your say. Who is the worst chairman of all time? Let us know in the comments section. McAnthony, though, has insisted it will take a top dollar fee to pry him away from Peterborough, leading to one disgruntled fan accusing him of purposefully overvaluing his players. Sick if I was an owner I would never do business with Borough, their owner must be one of the worst of all time, when it comes to overestimating valuations of players, they wrote on Twitter. However, the posh chairman was having none of it and quickly hit out in reply with a brutal takedown as he wrote sick, which one did I misvalue? Tony who went for £10 mil worth lot more now, Gale for £7 mil sold for £10 mil, Britt A. Asambalanga for £7.5 mil, sold on for £15 mil, Tomlin £2 mil sold then for £3.5 mil. Just to name a few. Clubs did okay buying them at my low values. The brutal comeback went down a treat on social media, with fans taking to Twitter to praise McAnthony for his transfer policy. You run it very well. Clear to see. You must have a top-grade scouting team. I have been saying for years that cobblers, my local team, need to follow the structure etc. you have in place, posted one fan. I think you run your club brilliantly Dara, any chance we could buy JCH at a discounted price, joked another. You sold Conor Washington for £3.5 million to QPR. Genius, quipped a third. Whilst even the fan that posted the original insult was quick to concede they were wrong, any chance of getting a job at your club mate? Big fan of the way you run the club. Read next.